Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you all of you for all the support. Every time you subscribe or hit that like button or make a comment, I appreciate it all. And if you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. One week I'll do a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. I do love readings on Mondays or a law of attraction tarot card reading. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best and highest good? of all concern with Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. All right, so we will start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. Whoops, let's see here. You've got the five of swords, the two of swords, the eight of wands, the empress, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Hierophant, interesting, and the Three of Swords. It's interesting that you have the two and three in the same reading. Um, I do feel like you're going to move past something here. If you've been caught in the middle or something hasn't been moving forward here because you have a new beginning and you definitely have a great love relationship. So if you're in a relationship and this is some kind of a work jam up thing or it's something about a move or something like that that's been delayed in some way because I do feel like there's been a delay with something you definitely have things taking off here so we have Taurus here we like to see that we've got earth and the empress as well we've got air Gemini Libra Aquarius fire and water all the elements represented so with this five of swords fives are activity mediation and change I do feel like you if you had words with somebody about this two of swords issue it's like there's been a, a standoff but I feel like it's a standoff following a bit of a, a power struggle. Um, but with this, I feel like they're telling you it's just time to move forward. Would you rather be right or be happy? And so this is one of those things where you don't have to participate. And I also feel like anything that you do in this situation, if you get too outspoken, it can be taken and it will be taken out of context and weaponized. Okay, so I'd be very careful with whoever this is because I feel like they're good at getting people into disagreements and then using whatever you say against you later. I do feel like with this, though, it's going to be something where when, it, you know, because you got the three, two, three also of swords. And so it's it's like once it's done, it's done for good. I don't see it as, it, it's almost like you resolve it, get to an agreement, and then you just move forward. I don't see an ongoing relationship with this energy. So if it's something work-related, you may end up keeping it very professional after this, very cordial, and almost like you'd treat a repair person. Do you know what I mean? Somebody you don't work with all the time, like they come in to make a repair or something at your work or even at your house, I hear treat them like a repair person. They keep saying that. So whoever that's for, um, they might not like that, by the way, because it's going to be different than what you had going on before. So even if it's something with like a delay in a house, I still feel like Whoever's in the negotiation end, whoever it is that's countering your energy, it's going to change the dynamic of that relationship. So with this two of swords, it definitely is an impasse. Twos are about partnerships. And so with this one, there may be too much thinking to be careful of getting fired up about it in your head because that just generates more angry energy. And then we attract more situations to keep us feeling angry. The universe feels our vibration. The universe responds to our feelings. And so with this kind of energy, the bottom sword is fear, the top sword is anger. And I do feel like the root cause is not getting something that either you were promised or you thought you were going to get, and then having some pushback or delay. And I do feel like there might be a measure of dishonesty around it, like this person is kind of CYA on things. And so that it's like they're 
again, trying to almost cover something in order to buy time. But with this Two of Swords, it is an emotional energy. I do feel like this has been difficult. But the good news is you have um, resolution coming out of it. So when we see this coming through, I mean, we've got this Eight of Wands coming in. And the underlying quality of the Eights are unity. But this one is going to bring in a powerful momentum to push you through this. Wands are great because... They get things going and they oftentimes are when we light up, when we get excited about a situation. So I do feel like after a delay, as things move forward, you get kind of your buy-in back. That's what I hear with this. Now, it's also the arrows of love in the tarot. So it may be part of this is bringing out a connection with a partner where you really feel that connection of somebody who has your back, who understands you and supports you no matter what you're going through, no matter what adversity. For others of you, though, if it is a new relationship with the Ace of Wands showing up here, it also might give your energy or your focus something else to focus on so that it doesn't, the problematic part of the reading doesn't gain more energy because we don't want to keep fueling that with energy. So with this brace for change, um, but it's a positive, okay? When we see this, it's like that trajectory that moves you upward. So when we start to get into, I really like this part of the reading, when we get this Ace of Wands, Empress, and Hierophant here, you definitely have a wonderful partnership with somebody coming in. This is that partner for life kind of energy. Now, if it's a, just a really rock solid friend or relative that's helping you through this, I just feel like they're going to be a go-to. There's something great about their energy. Others of you, though, like we talked about, if it's a new relationship, you'll be in this place where things will matter less. Conflict will matter less. I also want to tell you, too, with the Ace of Wands, it can be an apology coming forward. So you may have somebody here in terms of the conflicted kind of energy who does want to make things right in the best way that they can do it, in the way that they are capable of doing it. But, you know, sometimes we say, well, their best sucks. And so you may find that you just let go with love with the Empress. Because the Empress, this is very easygoing energy. It's different than the Emperor. Very different. You know, the Emperor would bulldoze whoever this is. The Empress lets it go with love and focuses on throwing a party. You know, focuses on something else that's positive. The Empress, too, with this energy, I mentioned she's ruled by Venus. She's ruled by love. She's also perpetually pregnant. So some of you, too, with this life partner, you may be taking things in a whole new direction with this because this is even having a baby. So or if you're if you are expecting already and there's some conflict around moving or even with the, the partner, somebody who's got a partnership that has conflict in it with the Empress, it becomes more the focus on that nurturing on the abundance the flourishing part of your life it's all positive when you have the empress but she's also in the lap of luxury so it's making gains so i do feel like the resolution will be very positive this is also a card of spring and summer so as the summer goes on you may find that the shift becomes much more positive and you also may meet somebody i'm getting that now too somebody who has a wonderful positive influence over things and it might not be uh, you know, it feels like if it's a business dealing, like I said, with moving or something like that, it may be somebody who's in management or who is in almost a like a third party kind of a situation too. if it's like a mortgage facilitator or something like that, who gives um, they give great advice and they give some kind of a, a new direction for things that will make things a lot easier. There's a mitigator here. That's what I get. So I mentioned before the Ace of Wands. This is a great card to have. It's initiation, it's a beginning, but it brings back the excitement and passion for whatever you're doing. So if you got a little bit down in the dumps with the three of swords, two of swords, one, two punch, with this, this is where you're back on Taurus and you're feeling the energy, you're feeling the excitement. You're saying, I'm glad I didn't give up on that. I'm glad I kept pushing forward. And you have a newfound enthusiasm for this. And so in a relationship, it's like you can't get enough of the person. You, again, the focus becomes so much more on positive things that the things that you don't want seem to just dissipate. They're just not as important. And so this is wave your magic wand, but it also can be somebody who apologizes. And like I said, you may have a change in the relationship dynamic where it just becomes more cordial, but there's not, you don't have negativity. It's almost that apathy, which is really the true release so that you're not carrying any resentments with you. 
So the Four of Cups is kind of funny next to the Ace of Wands. You may find that that apology comes in. You might say, oh, it's a little too late. But I do feel like with this Four of Cups, they're trying to tell you to be open because it really is about your freedom. I once met Deepak Chopra. I've talked about this periodically. And I, I said, you know, I've got this resentment and I know, I know it's not good to hang on to it. I understand that. What's your best advice? And he said, well, let go of it, not because they're worth it, but because you are. And so I feel like it's one of those where they're saying, hey, you're worth it just to keep moving along. And so with the Hierophant, we love the Hierophant because it's a card of great protection. I still keep getting that somebody new is coming into your life who may be more like a mentor, an advisor, somebody who's very positive. But overall, this is a card of unity, much like the Eight of Wands. So it brings in a peaceful resolution. And it's also, in terms of a love relationship, a life partner. This is high moral value, too. So if you've had something that you thought was dishonest, I do feel like you get things get infused with honesty and you can relax a little bit and feel like, okay, this is back into moving forward the way that I thought it was going to. So with the Three of Swords, there is acceptance, and I feel like it's really about leaving the past in the past. And even if this has been a kind of a minor situation where you say, well, it's only been about five, six weeks of time that this began, or a few weeks, even less than that, I do feel like with this, they're telling you you're moving forward, you're moving on from this. There's complete acceptance of whatever happened and a recognition of somebody's humanity. That's what I get for it. So let's see here, Taurus. What else the angels have to say for you? Messages for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Advice for Taurus. Well, improving health, mind, body, spirit connection. So if that impasse had anything to do with something physical, certainly they're telling you that's improving, but I do feel like it's the health of a relationship. They say big, happy changes. You know, I like to do readings like this because it's real life. We encounter conflict from time to time. The situation will improve, so they're definitely behind the resolution. And you've got within the next few weeks, things are going to get a lot better. I mentioned that before. They do say choose a new direction. So for some of you, if you've been playing a conversation out in your mind or even talking it aloud in your car, you may have to kind of sit back a little bit, pause, meditate, ask for direction and guidance and proceed from there because good things are on the way for you, Taurus. I love you and I'll be back again soon.